Yeah, what's, what's up, up bro? What's up, bro? Look good. How you doing, man? Man, I'm blessed, man. Wow. Blessed, blessed, blessed. What's up, there, daddy? Look at hey, you. Son, how you doing? This guy. Hey, TV <laughs> land. Coming to a movie theater near you real soon. <laughs> So I got to see my brother for literally the first time in about six years. And if you've been following the process of making Then There Was Joe, you will know that Then There Was Joe is based on a rather true story. Pour the ankle brace it up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, 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 it's real in the field out here, man. It's hard being black in America, you know. Perhaps too true. Don't be in the wrong place at the wrong time, you hear me? I hear you. It's the yeah. Asian people yeah, 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 yeah. It's not just black people, it's Asian It's my true. guys right here, it's my guys. It's my pops. Oh, yeah, it's Mr. Know. Warren, it's my little brother Justin. Wow, wow. So, my brother recently got into uh, a bit of a situation. Well, make sure I your daddy and everybody that look like you If you want to know more about that, there's plenty of info on the Then Was Joe website, thenthenwasjoe.com, check that out. Yes, now we're talking. What now we're talking. This? Um, we, oh, um... <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, my bad. When I first started making the movie about our sort of estranged relationship, he went on the run from the police, and to be honest, I never thought I'd ever see him again. He ended up getting arrested, and he went to prison. I thought that I was making a film that was perhaps sort of like almost a farewell to a relationship that I thought was dead. So Joe itself is almost like comedic therapy on film. We're all little black children, <laughs> but it's only me and Grady yeah. right now. And because we're all little black children. So my brother just got out of prison. Before he officially got out, he was fortunate enough to be selected to be a part of a work release program. My brother's a phenomenally talented barber, and so he used his work release to work in a barber school and teach other people how to cut hair. And much like anything my brother puts his mind to, he passed with flying colors. On Monday, today is uh, Wednesday, so I have uh, four more nights, or well, five days, four nights. I leave on Monday morning. Monday morning, I get 25% of my money from work release. They cut me a check. Uh, I parole to my own apartment, to myself. Uh, for 30 days, I have a curfew at uh, 9 o'clock in the evening. After that, at the end of that 30 days, they cut off my ankle monitor, and I'm a free man. I report once a month. Now, in the actual film, Joe is a barber. And because he's under house arrest, he runs a barber shop off of the front porch. What's wild also is when I wrote the film, my brother had never ever been in an ankle bracelet. Fast forward to two years later, and now Jamie, it's so wild how the whole thing has come full circle in this really, really strange but beautiful way. I remember when we first started making the film, there were a lot of people that were sort of nervous about me making a, uh, a film about something kind of so personal to my family. Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille? Yeah. <laughs> the only thing Joe has done is brought my family together. You, yeah. We're planning the release right now. I can't wait for you guys to see it because it's never, ever too late to try to fix a broken relationship. Never too late. I thought it was, and the only thing that this movie and this film has taught me is that it's never too late to tell someone that you love them. It's never too late to say you're sorry. A lot of times just saying you're sorry will erase years and years of pain. If there's anyone you know, perhaps you're holding a grudge against someone or something, put it away. There's no point in holding on to those things because life is too short. I'm telling you, things feel so much better on this side of the pain than on the other.